When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 60 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, hard to believe it is Arizona basketball season. The Wildcats hold their media day Thursday um, at McHale Center, and there is going to be a lot to talk about, including new uniforms. More on that later. What do you think, Greg, is going to be the big storyline heading into the start of this season? Who's the point guard? Parker Jackson, Cartwright. It's got, it's got or is it Cartwright Jackson, Parker. <laughs> I think this year everybody's going to figure it out. I mean, is he the point guard? Right. Yeah. Carter. Carter. Parker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, he has to be. Right. Is he's the one guy on this team with returning experience at the position. He's a guy who I thought was a very pleasant surprise last year, particularly shooting the ball. He's somebody who probably doesn't jump out at you or pass the eye test, but I think on a team with scorers, he is good enough. If he doesn't get taken advantage of on defense all the time. Right, because he's four foot seven. But other teams get by with that. Right. I mean, when Miller was at uh, Xavier, mm -hmm. their little point guard was like five six, mm -hmm. and, and they went to the Sweet 16. Sure. Was that two Holloway? Yeah. Yeah, he was No, very... not two Holloway. Um, Drew, uh, the transfer from Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes, you're right. And, and Arizona has proven throughout the years that you don't necessarily need to be a six foot two inch point guard. In fact, the guys who they've had who kind of looked the part. I mean, you look at Mustafa Shakur and who else? Yeah. Damon Stoudemire, it's got to be 5'10". Yeah. I never heard anyone say his defense was killing the team. Yeah, no, it's very true. And I mean, and you look at, you know, Nick Wise and Jason Gardner. And yeah, guys, Nick Wise. Yeah, and guys on down the line. And sort of the undersized point guard is the rule more than the exception at Arizona. T.J. McConnell, keep in mind, yeah. was barely six feet. Um, that is a great question, though. And, and on an Arizona team that's going to be stacked with scorers, is it enough to have a point guard who will just distribute? I think that's what they want. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they know if they leave him alone, he can make a three, and we saw it last year. Right. He, can, he can make a three. Absolutely. Do we have a nickname yet for Lori Markinen? I think we need to come wow. up with one because, my goodness, he is going to be an impact player right away. I think the first thing that people need to know his name is not Lori. Lowry? Yeah. Low Been doing this for months. Lowry yeah. Markinen. Yes. Guilty here, too. <laughs> to me, the, the, other, the second biggest question at Arizona is, what can they get out of Ray Smith? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if he is back end healthy, he, physically there's nothing he can't do. I was reading that UCLA's best women's basketball player is Carrie Corver. Okay. And Kyle Corver's sister. Yeah. Yes. Stud. Mm -hmm. She tore the same AC, ACL two years in a row, mm -hmm. and now she's as good as any player in the Pac-12. Wow. So maybe that bodes well for Ray Smith. Maybe it does, though it is a rather quick return. I mean, we're looking at about a year yeah. to the, what, week or so since, since Ray Smith was The medical hurt. technology has, has changed so much. I still think in terms of the 1990s or so right. when you tear your ACL. Right, and you're done. Yeah, now it's so different. It is. It's totally different. I look around, Greg, at some of these other players, and to me the wonder of basketball is that we will go from not knowing a whole lot about anybody to knowing every single thing about all these guys in the span of about two months. Raleigh Alkins, to yeah. me, is unique in terms of, I'm not sure Arizona's had a guard that looks like him in a very long time. You know, he looks to me like he could be playing fullback for, the, for somebody. Could he play tailback at Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're, he could be a pass rusher. <laughs> yeah. But they, they have bodies. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, the Pac-10 is so intriguing because I think they have three final four possibilities. Sure. Definitely Oregon, definitely Arizona. UCLA has personnel. Yep. Oh, if Steve Alford can figure it out, right. it's going to be like the ACC mm -hmm. in the ACC's heyday. Right. Three teams from the Pac-12 can just can get anywhere. Yeah. To me, Greg, the whole thing here is going to be how Sean Miller sort of manages this roster. It reminds me a lot of some of his past teams where, you know, you bring in the enforcer from the East Coast and Raleigh Alkins, and you bring in the little point guard. You know, it's not T.J. McConnell now. It's Parker Jackson Cartwright. You have the super athletic guy. It's not Aaron Gordon or Stanley Johnson, but it's Ray Smith. And then there's Markinen, who may be unlike any player they've ever had. Jakob Pertl changed Utah's franchise. Mm -hmm. One guy. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Lowry Markinen has better skill set. Yeah. And is more athletic. Yep. And so if Pertl took Utah to those heights, mm -hmm. they got to the Sweet 16. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Markinen with a better cast, how, how far can Arizona go? And if people throughout the country can understand that it is pronounced Jakob Pertl, even though it's spelled Jacob Poltel. Yeah. 
it won't be long before Lowry Markkinen is a household name. Maybe they'll start calling him Brett Favre. <laughs> Well, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, oh, the uniforms. They're going to unveil new uniforms, uh, hope maybe as soon as Thursday. What is your favorite Arizona uniform set of all time? Go. Well, if they wore copper, if they wore sage green <laughs> in football, yep. sage green and copper, that would be my favorite. During the Damon Stoudemire era, they wore red jerseys that had a little blue, little navy up yeah, here. Yeah. To me, growing up, that screamed Arizona. That was, to borrow a line, that was Arizona to me. So I like those. Well, they're better than those dark gray ones they wore a few years ago. Brutal. Brutal. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.